Has anybody told you that you're perfect? Has anybody told you that you're worth it? Did they have baby? I apologize for them. I apologize for them. Let me know that you got my flowers. Been sitting alone for hours. Somehow can't get you off my mind. Before you fall asleep, I'ma ring your doorbell. Throw a rock at your window. to my channel i'm t and i upload four times a week tuesday thursday saturday and sunday if you haven't subscribed please do so i would really love to have you here and if you have already subscribed and you're already here thank you so much for supporting me so today is a very special video i was contacted by a company called the wig company and they asked if i would love to collab with them and of course i was like uh yeah and so they were so generous in sending me three wigs to review the thing I like most about the wig company was looking at their Instagram, which I will put right here. Just the the pictures on there really inspired me because it was just, it was women, men, kids, everyone that wants to wear wigs. It was just super inclusive, all ages, all shapes, all sizes, like all colors. It was just so refreshing to see a company that understands like a lot of people wear wigs, a lot of different types of people wear wigs. I really encourage you to follow them on Instagram. All of the information about this particular wig will be down below. And there are three other, or two others, excuse me. So stay tuned for those reviews as well. So today you're going to see the review of Miss Fascinating. And she came in this beautiful box. Next, I'm going to put in the clips of when I did an unboxing. So all of that stuff will be in there. And then after that will be how I, you know, achieve this looking the way that I have. So yeah, if you have a wig from the wig company that you would like to see reviewed, please put that down below. If you have this particular wig and have any like comments, tips, tricks, whatever, put that down below as well. And yeah, let's get to the clips and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, wow. They actually said they were sending me two, but it looks like maybe there's three in here. They're awesome. Okay, so this is the, I'm just pulling it out. This is the first one. This is called Fashion Club Club Designs Lace Front Wigs Invisible Hairline Even Up Close. It says the wig company on there. And this is the style Fascinating in the color two. And they actually have the size, the cap size, which is really awesome as average. So let's go ahead and look. Oh my. So it says the wig is packed inside out for a reason. We preserve the style's open airy appearance it's pre-styled and carefully turned inside out before it's placed in the box you're assured of touch and go style with gentle shake and a pick combs barest touch that's so awesome so this tells about the wigs and they are little information card our hand knotted lace front hairline illuminates the precise and expected look of a perfect front hairline so like a natural looking hairline the styling versatility allows for natural off the face styles and the flexibility of parting in the center or either side um just like you would your own hair so that means it's like a free parting when you want a partial bang or no bang at all the wig company's sheer front gives you styling options and versatility so this is so awesome and it also tells you like how to care for the wig it comes in this beautiful paper this is how it comes this is fascinating like that's fascinating like that's her name nut on it and it does have the color name right here which is awesome because sometimes like when you take them out um and then it says it does have a cap size which is 21 to 22 inches that's what they're calling average and this little card it says oh this is just like how to wash it and everything like that so yeah this is the cap construction that's a nice mesh breathable cap open cap you can see that this is where the lace is and this is going to be where you're able to part freely there are no combs um in the back of this wig there's no combs in the front and there are no adjustable straps so i may have to use a wig grip with this or add them which you can okay look at her it's a it's a it's a natural texture I wouldn't say it's quite yakky, but there is sort of a denseness and a coarseness to it. And it does have sort of that banged situation. Okay, that's Miss Fascinating. Oh, look, I really like there's a little bit of filler hairs. This is sort of just like how you would have volume in your natural hair. 
that's really awesome the one that we're doing today is the style fascinating she is in the shade 12 and the cap size is average which um, I'll look on here to see again what the size is for their average comes in this beautiful little box average is 21 to 22 inches she did have like a small little lace front um, no combs or anything like that so let's get her on and see what we can do with her if you're interested in the look that I have on right now I was using the queen the queen palette it's a collaboration palette from Juvia's Place. There should be a three looks one palette up on it. If there isn't, then go ahead and put it down below and I'll put it up. So let's put her on, see what's going on. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. oh my goodness. I, I actually really love this style. It's giving me this sort of like 1970s situation. All right, let me get her together and then we'll see what we are coming up with. I actually like it. I love this color. Anyway, okay. Has anybody told you that you're perfect? Has anybody told you that you're worth it? That they haven't, baby. I apologize for them. I apologize for them. Let me know that you got my flowers Been sitting alone for hours Somehow can't get you off my mind Before you fall asleep I'ma ring your doorbell Throw a rock at your window, calm down Just have to say Now I'm gonna clip back the hair Where I want to set the part down And how I want it to lay I use this curling wand to melt the fibers down basically so that they will stay in the position that I want them in. This is a great way to get rid of humpiness, to make sure that something lays flat and sort of blends more with the shape of your head. Sleeping without a hue right underneath me. Don't know what it is. I'm checking the time, you're all in my mind, I'm all in my feelings. Yeah. I was emotional, babe. I was emotional, 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 emotional. I just don't care. Okay, so that was lickety split. The timer on my camera, with you know, putting it on and showing you out of the box, is seven minutes and eleven seconds. I really, really like this wig. I don't like that there is there are no combs. However. I'm more thinking about the fact that some women are wearing these wigs because of hair loss issues and obviously then they wouldn't use the combs because they wouldn't have them. Um, so if, if, if I were to wear this and feel uncomfortable, I would use what's called a wig grip. I do have a video on that in my Wigs 101 and Wig Tip series on using a wig grip. So I would suggest getting one of these. I love just like the tossle and go style. I love the color. The color is so cute. I put a little bit of dry shampoo um, because there's a tiny bit of shininess. A lot of that has to do with my lights though. There's a lot of volume to this wig, but I mean, I think that's kind of the point with this style. I feel like you could sort of flatten it down and do like a little situation like that if you wanted to let's look at her from the back that's my only critique is <clears throat> you saw I cut a little bit off because I feel like when you go to the side that this should be tight a little little tighter here and more stacked up here um that could just be styling you could go to you know your hairdresser or whatever and just have a little bit of this weight sort of taken out if you would yeah see what I'm saying I just would like that to be a little more stacked up but outside of that um i think this is a super cute style honestly i could have just put it on fluffed it up and go for real like i'm really impressed with this one and 
I would recommend this particular one. I will put down below information about the wig company and where you can purchase it and how much it costs and all that. But I don't know, what do you think? What do you think of this color? Um, if you have naturally non-textured hair, this would be a great style for you. There is still some grit and some volume. Uh, you could put like a little hairspray in like, um, like I did and just, you know, this is giving me a little bit of a Rachel situation from friends. Yeah, I really, I do, I do like this. I think it's super cute. If you want to see another wig like this from the wig company, um, just put that down below. I do have two more to review, so those will be coming. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Boo!